Namaste. Thank you for making some time for your practice. So, like a good smile, a yoga pose should be natural and without force, authentic. So feel free to take pauses, rest if you need to. Stretch less, relax more. Start by gently moving your shoulders in a rotational pattern, just loosening off any tension. A little movement come to the hips as well. Try to find circular movements if you can. Perhaps a little scoop of the pelvis. Let's break that down and press the tailbone down into the heels and then forwards into the toes. Turn your wrists in, lengthens the back of the body. So we start by lengthening the back and then using weight down into the heels, keeping the back long, open the front, shoulders down and back. Keep the back long and expand the front, elbows forwards and up. Relax the tummy and the neck. Turn the wrists in. Keep length at the back as you lengthen the front, lifting your heart. Perhaps lift the heels, draw the ankles in. Lengthen the back of the body and keep the back long as you raise the arms up, raising only as much as is comfortable. Turn the wrists in, lengthen in the back of the body, perhaps lift the pubic bone to create that space and relaxation at the low back. Keep it and lengthen the front. Re-lengthen the back and expand in the tummy, chest and throat, arms forwards, maybe up. Turn in the wrists in. Lower only as much as comfortable in the squat. Turn the wrists in and then turn the wrists out. Bring weight into the left heel and attempt to lift the right hip. You can stay on the right toe tip or maybe even lift it a little here. Create space on the left side with that attempt to lift the right hip. Relax the tummy. Send the right wrist in, shoulder forwards, expand the tummy and raise the arm up. Palms back behind you. Bring weight into the right heel and lift the left hip. Perhaps on the left toe tip, left leg turned out. Relax the abdomen, keep reaching the right elbow forwards and up as you lift the left hip, maybe lifting the left foot also. Ground both heels, keep space at the back as you open the front of the body. Keep the knees forwards, eyes forwards, twist the tummy to the right, right palm up and back, chest lifts. Bend the knees, press the tailbone down. Spin forward from the tummy first, cross the elbows. Keep the length at the back. Keep length at the front as you expand the back. Expand the front again, shoulders down and back. And then fingers to shoulders, palms to the back of the room and twist the tummy over to the left. Take the arms down and then turn the left wrist up and back. Knees still forwards, eye gaze still forwards and the hips can move. Create space in the low back by lifting the pubic bone. Spin the tummy forwards and then expand the front, keep in the back long. Turn the wrists in, lengthen in the back, forward bend in the spine. Turn the wrists out. Begin by lifting the pubic bone and come onto the right toe tip. Stay here if you wish. Try to keep the abdomen relaxed. And if you wish lifting the leg, using less or more bend in the knees. Check the shoulders and the fingers are still free. Jaw relaxed. Perhaps lift the leg more if comfortable. Stay on the right toe tip and lean onto the foot. Otherwise, push the knee into the hands, balancing on one leg. Again, use a bend in the knees to scoop the pubic bone forwards and push the knee down onto the hands. Release, fingers to shoulders, and then turn in the wrists in by your sides. Lift in the pubic bone, but keep in the back long. Come onto the left toe tip and stay here, lifting up the pubic bone. If you wish, lift up the leg. Try to keep the abdomen relaxed, fingers relaxed, hips can move, tummy can breathe, shoulders can move and the neck is free. Effortlessness. Stay on the left toe tip and lean on the foot, 
otherwise push the knee into the hands. See if you can keep the shoulders down and slightly forwards, a lift of the pubic bone, slight posterior tilt. Take the arms down, turn the wrists in, and then grip in with your toes, spin the tummy over to the right. Turn the right palm up and back, knees still forwards. Come onto the right toe tip, and then lift up the right hip. Stay here if you wish, or lift up the right foot as well. Return the toe down if you wish, or keep it lifted if you prefer. Push the knee into the hands, or lean onto the right foot on the ground for active resistance. Turn both wrists in, and then spin the abdomen over to the left. Modify the position for comfort. Use more of a bend in the left knee if necessary. Again, just lifting up the right hip, or if you want, the foot as well. Ground into the heels, and then lean over to the right foot. Stay on the left toe tip, lifting the left hip if you prefer. Left hip lifts, low back has space. Tummies relaxed, if you wish lift the left foot as well as the left hip. Fingers lengthened and relaxed, shoulders are free to move, tummy can breathe. Stay on the left toe tip or toe in the air. Bring either the left knee into the hand or lean over onto the ball of the left foot. You can create a push of the knee into the hand for more active resistance. Turn the wrist in and spin the tummy over to the right. Check that the low and mid back hasn't pinched. Stay on the left toe tip if you wish or lift up the left leg. Again, modify, you can use a bend in the standing knee to create a little more space and length in the spine. Ground both heels firm and then lengthen the back of the body and keep it long as you lengthen the front. Turn the wrists in, keep the back long and then come onto the right toe tip. Right knee to chest, keep in that space at the low back. As you step the right foot back, Lowering the tailbone down and keeping the back long as you expand the front. Spin the tummy over to the left and bring the right elbow forwards. Reach the right elbow forwards and strengthen through the back leg. Optionally lift, keep the spine long, particularly at the low back. If you can, turn the lifted thigh in. Reach the arms back. Turning the wrists in, keeping the low back long. Try to keep the back of the neck long too. Niralamba, Virabhadrasana, Warrior 3. Again, with space at the low back, replace the foot down. Draw in the tailbone to the earth. Keep the back long as you twist the tummy over to the left. Reach the right elbow forwards. and optionally bend the knees as you touch fingers open and straighten. Spin the tummy over to the right, again lowering the tailbone for space at the low back. Reach the left elbow forwards and take a balance on the toe tip. If you can keep the low back long, then lift the leg. Leg can be straight locked at the knee. Turn the right thigh in and the left hip out. Again, check that the fingers can move, the shoulders can move. Less stretch or tension created by the practice, but release and relaxation. Opening the front of the body and opening the back of the body. Stay on the toe tip, or if you wish, lift in the knee. Move from the core. Imagine tummy button twisting to the right hip. Right palm up and back. Here, Create an active resistance, pushing the knee out into the resisting hand. It can be done with the toe tip on the ground too. Cross the elbows, raise the knee. Keep length at the back of the body as you turn the wrists in. And come onto the left toe tip, optionally lifting the leg.
keep that space at the lower back and move from that place. Imagine a harness drawing you back effortlessly. Keep the back open as you open the front. Keep the front open as you bring the fingers into the shoulders and then scoop the left arm forwards and up. Reaching the left elbow forwards and again find space in the back of the body first on the toe tip. If you can keep it and keep the fingers, shoulders, face relaxed then maybe lift the leg. Lock the leg if you wish and try to internally rotate at the thigh. Relax the jaw. Turn the wrists in, back into Niralamba Virabhadrasana. Create length at the back of the body, more so than the front. Turn the back thigh in. Find the lunge, space at the low back, and then twist the core over to the right. Right palm up and back, left elbow forwards. Optionally, take a bend in the knees and release the bend and the fingers together. Spin the tummy forwards, cross elbows. Keep length at the back as you take the elbows forwards and up. Again, re-lengthen the back of the body, right elbow forwards and up. Find the length in the back of the body and lift up the leg, straight or bent. Turning the left thigh in and stacking the body on top of the right hip. Ensure that you're able to lengthen, relax and breathe naturally. Turn the wrists in, keeping low back open, expand the front. Keeping front expanded, expand the back. Step forwards onto the toe tip and stay here if you wish. Otherwise, lifting up the left knee, twisting the tummy over to the left, left palm up and back. Again, as though trying to turn the left thigh out, resist with the hand. Even though activating through that attempted external rotation, keep length and relaxation in the left fingers and face. Cross the elbows, lift the knee, and then lower both heels firmly down, lengthen the back of the body. Keep the back long as you open the front, try to lengthen the back of the neck. Fold forwards, relax the head. Step the left leg back, turn the thigh in. Keep the low back long, and come into the low lunge. Let the hips be low, and try to lift the ribs away from the thigh. Stay here, or if you wish, press in into the back foot and raise the elbows forwards and up. Lift the pubic bone, posterior tilt as you come into either a kneeling or full plank. The neck forwards, elbows in and lower if you can, otherwise stay up. Cat cow in your kneeling position or cobra pose, pull in the elbows back. Keep the neck long, elbows in. Lift the chest actively. Move from the core. Low back lifts up high. Try to maintain that space at the low back in downward facing dog. Step forwards to the front of the mat and lift the chest. Ground firmly into the heels. Let the knees bend if necessary. Again, avoid stretch. Find relaxation. Step the right foot back. Turn the thigh in. Stay in the low lunge, lower in the hips, and lift in the front ribs. If you can, comfortably press the back foot down, scoop the elbows forwards and up, find your high lunge. Lift the pubic bone. On the way down, stay in a full plank or a kneeling plank. Keep the elbows in by the sides when you bend them. Stay here in plank or cat-cow. With or without the knees, lower down, elbows in. Lift the chest, back of neck long. Lift the low back up high in downward facing dog. Try to push the chest away from the ground as he's tiptoe or hop forward to the front of the mat. 
turn the wrists in, back long as you stand. Elbows forwards and up, heels grounded. Twist the tummy over to the right, slight bend, left arm forwards and up. Stay here in this position, or if you wish, lift in the right hip first, lift in the right leg second, finding Parshva Trikonasana Ekapada. Keep the shape in the spine as you replace the right ball of the foot down, spin the right heel behind the right little toe. Keep in the spine, step the left foot back and expand the body in Trikonasana Triangle. Find space at the right back hip by turning the right thigh out. Right elbow forwards and up. Counter pose, Niralamba Ardha Chandrasan. Standing and supported half moon pose, reaching the right elbow forwards and down. Move the right shoulder from the ear if you can. Lift the pubic bone up and then stay on the toe tip or if you wish bring the knee into the chest. Relax the tummy, turn the wrists in and lengthen the low back. Keep the back long as you lengthen the front, fingers to shoulders, expand the front and twist the tummy over to the left. Bring weight into the right heel and then come onto the left toe tip, stay there, right elbow forwards and up. If you wish, lift the left leg, lift in from the hip. fingers lengthened and relaxed. Keep the shape of the spine to pivot on the left ball of foot. Take the left heel behind the left little toe. Keeping the lower back long, step the right foot back. Space at the left hip by turning the left knee up towards the sky. Active attempt at rotation. Raise the left elbow forwards and up, lengthening the left side. Right hip still pushing towards the right shoulder firm the right side. Reach the left elbow forwards and down. Again check that there's length and ease of breath. Bring the right toe tip forwards or bring the right knee into the chest, releasing the low back. Turning the wrists in, Utkatasana. Fold forwards Uttanasana. Step the left leg back long, thigh turned in. Stay with right elbow to right knee or right hand on the ground. Turning the right thigh out and lifting the right hip towards the right shoulder. Lower the tailbone down, turn the wrists in. Keep the back long as you expand the front and then twist the abdomen over to the right. Raising the left elbow forwards and up, creating space on the left side. Push the right hip back. Press the left foot down firmly and lengthen the back of the neck. Raise the left arm up and then take the right arm forwards, cross. Lengthen the back, keep the back long, stay on the toe tip or lift the knee into the chest. Optionally push the knee down onto the hands or lean forwards onto the left foot. Chair pose. Forward fold, step the right leg back, side angle, right arm forwards and up, left hand to the ground or left elbow to the knee. Push the left hip up towards the left shoulder to firm the left side of the body, relaxing the right. Lower the tailbone down, roll the spine up, lengthening the front of the body. Keep in the front long, lengthen in the back of the body. Keep in the back long, lengthen in the front and twist over to the left. Reach the right elbow forwards and up. Send in the left hip away from the left foot. Press the right foot down firmly, relax the tummy and lengthen the back of the neck. Looking down for balance, looking up for fun. Open the arms and straighten the back knee. Expand the tummy, lift the pubic bone, stay on the toe tip or lift the knee to the chest. Lean on the right foot or push the right knee into the right hand. 
step the right leg back, turn both toes out, turn the wrists in, lengthen in the back in Gajasthana. In this sequence, bend the knees more or less. Shoulders stay down, tummy twist to right. Keep the chin into the chest, twist tummy to the left. Follow from the core. Turn the palms forwards and up. Firmly grip with the toes and lower the left hip, lift in the right. Forward bend and expand the front, keep in the back long. Lift the left hip. Expand the front and the back of the body. Turn the wrists in, expand in the back. Twist the tummy to the right. Twist the tummy forwards and to the left. Take both arms behind, palms up, and then interlace fingers. Squeeze hands, bend elbows if necessary. Turn toes in, heels out, keep the bind or hands on hips, fold forwards, releasing the hands to the ground, and then half lift up the chest to lengthen the spine. Keep active in the feet and fold forwards. Don't look for stretch. Look for space and relaxation. Twist the tummy up towards the sky. Right hand lifts. Twist the tummy first. Find that resistance in the core and allow it to relax with the breath. Natural breathing. Heels in, toes grip. Palms forwards, lengthen in the back as you lengthen the front. Bend the knees more or less. Right hip lifts, right side bend. Left hip lifts, left side bend. Feet active, twist from the tummy, over to the right and forward bend out. Twist from the tummy, over to the left and forward bend out. Release the arms, wrists turned in, lengthen in the back. Keep in length at the back, grip with the fingers, squeeze the hands and rotate the wrists. Stay here working on this or grip onto the ankles in a forward fold. Training the fingers to squeeze here is good for the bone density and also preparation if you do hand balance and a replacement if you don't. So we can hold onto the ankles or we can grip onto the ground if comfortable. Practice bringing more and more weight into the hands, gripping with the fingers and pressing with the knuckles. Check, you can breathe naturally. Handstand press practice. Release the wrists, turning them in. Point the palms forwards, keep the back long as you raise the arms up, more or less than me. Bring the toes in. And then release the arms down. Feet together. Bend the knees, turn the wrists in. Keep the lower back long, left knee into chest. And take it out forwards. Alternatively, stay on the left toe tip, lifting the pubic bone. Step your right leg back. Get that same feeling of pushing the left hip forwards and up. Ground through the right heel, lengthen the back of the body and relax the jaw. Take a bend in the back knee, lengthen in the back of the body and then scoop the pubic bone forwards and up. Stay on the right toe tip or if you wish, lift up the right leg. Parshvottanasana with the right leg forwards. Keep the low back long, reach from the low back, left leg back, heel grounded. Slightly bend the right knee if more comfortable. Fold forwards less if there's strain in the right hamstring or low back. Think about length rather than stretch. Lift the back heel, lengthen the low back, turn in the wrists in, open the front of the body without shortening the back. And then lift the pubic bone forwards and up, perhaps lifting the left knee. Keep the back long, step the left leg back, and then turn the wrists in. Keep the back long, twist the tummy over to the right, left arm forwards and up. Use the hands, otherwise bring the left knee straight down and come into the twisted lunge. Use your knees if you prefer Chaturanga Dandasana. 
Keep the neck long. Lift the chest up. Move from your core back into downward facing dog. Bring the left foot forwards in between the hands. Keep the right knee down from here or keep it lifted. Turn the wrists in. Lengthen the back. Lengthen the front. Reach the right elbow forwards and up. Create length through the right side. Use the hands on the knee to lower the right knee down. Bring it directly down to the ground. Come back into the plank or kneeling plank, cat cow or chaturanga dandasana. Keep the neck long and the fingers gripping. Find your downward facing dog. Let the heels be lifted. Concentrate more on lengthening the spine. Optionally, bring the elbows down and take it into a dolphin practice. One leg lifting at a time. Take a full round of breath while you're up. Then bring the knee into the tricep on an exhale. Repeat, inhale, raise, exhale, tricep to knee. If you practice Pinchamayarasana, have a go now. You can also walk your feet up the wall to practice this posture shoulder mobility and space at the low back will be important for being able to breathe naturally in this advanced postural practice. Lift the chest, turn the wrists out, opening the front of the body, and then take a forward bend. If you can keep the fingers gripped, neck long and elbows in, then lower down, otherwise cat cow. Press a little resistance to the elbows forwards for cobra. Stay there or take upward facing dog again. Fingers grip neck long at the back as well as the front. Knuckles press the low back up towards the sky. Lengthen in the back of the body and the back of the neck. Bend the knees. Tiptoe or hop the feet forwards into a cross-legged position or step the feet around and through. Lift the legs up into the air. Relax the feet completely. And then rotate ankles, rotate wrists. Very gentle movements of the neck. Slowly if you can. The legs out forwards. Take a bend in the knees. Feel free to lift the hips if the hamstrings are tight. Open the chest. Reach the fingers forwards. Drawing the legs forwards and up, as opposed to pulling with the arms, the hands could rest on the ground. Use the hips to lengthen the spine. Ground in, lengthen in the back, and using the breath into the tummy to lengthen the front. Optionally, if it's comfortable, hold the ankles, toes, or wrap the hands around the balls of the feet. If the legs can straighten, then do, but don't strain. Keep the sit bones grounded in whatever position you're in and breathe the length into the back, slowly, light, natural breaths. Keep the back long, open the front, lift the chest. Stay here or option bend the knees, grip the fingers and lift the hips up. Grip fingers firmly, chin to chest as you lower. Cross the legs. Create length at the back, and then twist the tummy over to the right, right palm up. Keep the hips firmly grounded. If you can, lean back, release the left leg forwards, have the right leg straight or squeezing tightly in a bend. Keep the right hip pushing down, reach the right arm over into the side bend. Let there be a gentle effort to lift the left hip. Lengthen the lower back as you release. And then ground in the hips. And again, using the hips to lengthen the spine with the natural, easy breath. Lift, turn the wrists in, and then spin the tummy over to the left. Release the right leg. Right foot presses down on the edge of the mat. Right hand either holds right knee or binding Left palm up and back, reach the left hand around the back or bind it with the right hand.
keep the right foot grounded and reach the heart forwards and up. You could be holding the knee here as the variation or the bind still in both lengthening the spine. Spin the tummy over to the right and then cross left elbow past right knee. Otherwise hold the knee. Press the hips down, create length in the spine. Ground the hips, release the arm. Twist the tummy forwards as you release the legs. Keep the length in the back and twist the tummy over to the left. Releasing left leg, lean over to the right, left knee locked closed. Or the left leg straight, press the left hip down and lift up through the left side. But actively push forwards with the right hip. Let the tummy relax, fingers lengthen, expand in the front of the body, grounding from the hips, and a natural breath creates length along the spine. Turn the tummy over to the right, grounded through the legs, spacious in the spine. Lean over to the right and release the left foot to the edge of the mat. Twist the tummy to the left, perhaps binding on the inside of the left leg, or hold the left knee with the hand. Right palm up and back to find the right side bind. Again, push the hips down and reach the heart forwards. You could be holding the outer leg here or still in the bind. Release the arm, twist the tummy up and over to the left. If the right elbow easily crosses the knee, take this bind, otherwise hold the outer knee with the hand. Create length in the back and the neck, chin slightly to chest, maybe left ear lifts. Take the chin to the right shoulder, release from the twist, take the soles of the feet together, Baddha Konasana. Here the knees may be higher, that's fine. You could raise the hips up onto a block if you prefer. Forward folding, very much optional. Use the hands behind you if you need to for balance. Keep pressing the feet together, and if you forward fold, try to move from the hips grounding down. Active movement of the spine. Navasana, simple variation. Slightly leaning back. A half sit up. If it's uncomfortable for you to lower this way, come down on your side. Let's take the fists together, underneath the back, separating the feet. Lift the hips, follow with the spine, tuck the shoulders underneath. Try to have the neck lifted from the ground if you can. Feet firmly down and gently drawing the ankles away from one another, turning the knees in. And release, press the low back down, hold the outer feet, push the feet into the hands as opposed to pulling the legs down. Bridge number two, put the hands into the low back if you can, otherwise let them rest down by the sides. Take slower breaths. If you can, come onto the right toe tip, maybe lifting the right foot, optional. Left toe tip, or maybe lifting the left leg. Check that the breath is natural, the face not tensed. Slowly lower upper, middle lower back down, and then half sit up, holding the right knee, extending the left leg, take the right toe tip to touch the ground and maybe release the hands as well. Check the shoulders can still move. Hold the left knee only, extending the right leg, and then push the knee, left toe to find the ground, and maybe release the hands. Check if fingers and shoulders can move. Both knees, push into both hands, and then release on your side or roll up into a seated position. Turn the wrists in. Grip the fingers into the earth, press the knuckles down and lift the heart. Optionally, lift the whole body, pressing the feet down, expanding the front without shortening the back. Turn the wrists in, raise the arms up. Turn the wrists in, lengthening the back of the body. Lengthen in the back, lengthen the front two. Turn in the wrists in, lengthen in the back. 
turning the wrists out, opening the front, lengthening back body, back of neck long as the head lifts, lengthening back body and relaxing, opening the front. Let your fingers be relaxed, jaw, tongue and eyes all soft, relaxed. Feet active, supporting the movement. Palms up towards the sky. Relax the tummy and tilt the top of the hips back, posterior tilt. Chest lift, shoulders relaxed. Neck is free, effortlessly lifting the crown of the head. Check that the jaw, tongue, eyes, cheeks and brow are all soft, effortless. If you wanted to, you could focus your eyes on a small point here. Otherwise, eyes closed and scanning the body for areas where tension can be released. If it feels an effort to sit up, then lie on your back. Take any resting, comfortable position to be still. As your body becomes effortlessly still, the mind slowly follows. Stay in relaxation for some time if you wish, otherwise close your practice with a bow. Feet support you on the way down, close our practice. Namaste.